On that note, I want to go to the second story, which is about ICE, um, you know, which is a basic a service of the United States government. There's a big story out right now that ICE detained a man who was driving his woman to the hospital. She was about to have uh, labor or, you know, she was about to have a kid. And that's the big story. I just want to say MSNBC producer Kyle Griffin tweeted about how horrible it is. It got 10,000 to 12,000 retweets and counting. Rep uh, Joe Kennedy, you might, remi- you might remember Joe Kennedy from TV. He was drooling all over his face. Trump had like a legendary State of the Union speech. And then Joe Kennedy was on. He was like drooling. He was foaming from the mouth. Maybe he had some sort of like mouth fungus or something. But you might remember him from that. Uh, he got 26 to 26,000 retweets, 65,000 likes on his, uh, oh my goodness, how horrific. Oh my God, I can't believe ICE is doing this. ICE is such a bad organization. Oh my God, how could they arrest somebody driving the, you know, a pregnant woman to the hospital? These people are horrible. And these are the same people calling ICE terrorists, who, by the way, there's you know, a high percentage of Latinos who work in ICE. So these people claim that they love Latinos, but they only like illegal immigrant Latinos for some reason, and they hate millions of Latino citizens who are police officers, ICE officers, and you know work for the federal government. Strange to me, I thought they cared about Latinos, but anyway, there's a big part of this story that Joe Kennedy doesn't want to tell you, Kyle Griffin doesn't want to tell you, and most liberal leaders who are lying about this story, using it for political fodder, don't want to tell you. And the big scoop is, this guy was wanted for murder in Mexico. So there's multiple reasons they pulled him over. First of all, the guy, it was in San Bernardino as well. He was wanted for murder in Mexico. So if you commit murder in the United States, you go to another country illegally, you're probably going to get pulled over. And I'm sorry, you're not a victim if you're wanted for murder in another country. And also the news doesn't want to talk about is the woman wasn't actually in labor. She was going to get a C-section, but it wasn't a it wasn't desperate, urgent, like she had to get it now. It was a scheduled plan C-section. So these are just things that, you know, if you want to know the truth, if you want to get lied to, I would say follow a liberal leader and they'll, they'll, they'll manipulate you and exploit you for your emotions. They'll use women and children every single day and they'll use tragedies to exploit you, to manipulate you, similar to the social media companies who sell all your information out to advertisers. If you want to be manipulated and lied to, you could follow, you know, Joe Kennedy on Twitter. But if you want to know the truth, the truth is this wasn't just a random stop. This wasn't somebody that was in labor that was like desperately having a problem. It was a woman who literally could have the same C-section two, three days from now. She's not in labor. And also the guy was wanted for murder in Mexico. So these are, I just want to say, I, I get it. It's a good clickbait story. I understand why everybody's talking about it. But these are the types of people that really want to, damage the country like if you commit murder in mexico or the united states you shouldn't be driving around and it's not a bad thing if they stop you if you're driving someone to the hospital it's bad timing for sure but overall this is the games that they play they tell you at the border they say oh my goodness how can trump uh possibly separate families at the border well he didn't even pass that legislation that was has been passed for a while the reason they separate people at the border is because somebody, some people's parents are wanted for murder. So, you know, if you have a four-year-old with a murderer, it doesn't make sense to keep them together. But Democrats say, yeah, keep them together just for the narrative. Then we could use it to try to get votes in November. So that's why they separate children. Another reason they separate children is because a high, heavy majority of the children coming to the border are either coming without a parent, completely unaccompanied, or they're coming with somebody who isn't their parent. So a lot of people wanna exploit the system. Similar to maybe these people, you have a murderer and a, a woman who's illegal driving to a US hospital to have a baby, that's fine. You know, the guy gets pulled over because he's wanted for murder in Mexico, but the woman, now she has the baby, you know, I believe according to law, correct me if I'm wrong, now the baby's a United States citizen. So there's a lot of incentive for people to either steal babies, smuggle babies, or send their, you know, send their babies with somebody that they shouldn't be sending to exploit the United States system. And I'm, I'm not saying help women, help children, help illegal immigrants. God bless everybody. I want to help everybody. But I'm sick and tired of the liberal narrative. They're, they're the ones that are endangering children. They're the ones that are exploiting Latinos. They're exploiting children. They're exploiting women. And it's almost like they want all these children to get you know human trafficked and raped at the border. I don't know any other way to put it. 
The reason that you vet people and separate people is because you want to figure out who's who and you don't want to endanger a child because most people coming over the border, they're not coming with their parents. That's been statistically proven. The heaviest majority is either unaccompanied or without a parent. There's not very many cases on the scale of there's 50,000 people getting arrested at the border a month. This is a stat from the Washington Post. 50,000 people getting arrested at the border a month. 2,000 women and children, what, for the last four or five years? What about the millions of other stories and the tens of thousands of kids being saved? I'm not saying I shouldn't be held accountable. I'm not saying the United States government's perfect. I'm sure they do messed up stuff sometimes and need to be held accountable. But at the end of the day, I'm tired of them exploiting women and children and pregnant women for a narrative that literally not only endangers United States citizens, but endangers women and children as well. So the ICE story being pushed by liberal media is once again being exploited and they don't want to tell you that this guy was wanted for murder in Mexico. So I'll tell you, that's the truth.